We'll sing the next part later. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. At our age, we're all about endurance. Yeah. We got the menopause bedding. Yeah. My uh -huh. lashes, they make me say crazy. I might be taking my sweater off a little later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have to pay extra though. Uh, I think this is where we just do the sacrifice poems and then we explain the slam or the other way around. We'll, 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 we'll explain the slam first. Okay, so the way it goes is we've got some teams. Alright, we got three teams. We got Team Tall. Yeah, Team Tall. Stand up, Team Tall. Show us your tallness. They are standing yeah. Up. yeah. <laughs> team Tall is Jesse, Isabel, Chris, and Sean. Let's hear yeah. the team tall, everybody. Give them a cheer. Yeah. And then we got Team Short. <laughs> team Short. Team Short is Candyman, uh, Steve, Lucy, and Shannon. Team yeah. Short, can you stand up on your tippy toes and give them a cheer? Alright, sorry guys. Thanks. Cafe. Duh. So Lails. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Team Awesome. Team Awesome is misspelled Allen with four L's, Warren and Duncan. Could you yeah. stand up, Team Awesome, please? Let her yeah. give you a cheer. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so we got some. Conjure lunar speech. Backash word wistful blunders into downside up blissful wonder, where each phonetic anagram becomes a phonetic mango. I'm just saying, I can tell that last cunning stunt has you thinking. What a shining wit! That spooner must be a real feather mucker. But I'm telling you, he's a pheasant plucker, bit of a sock cucker. But who else was gonna get Joe Flopping? I'm just saying. Take two tubes, twirl like cotton candy in front of my Ferris wheel eyes. Pointed toes dressed in pressed in silks, point and flex in visions of cherry and white. Ballerinas, confident in their stride, pull their bodies taut like birthday cake candles. I want to touch them, lick that sweetness from their swirling skirts. I once had a lover tell me the reason she hadn't returned my phone calls lately was. She was busy getting drunk out of her mind and fucking Ron Jeremy. That's not metaphor or hyperbole, that shit's a true story actually happened to me. So this one's for anyone who's ever been discarded the way smokers litter, you know, with an arrow. Yeah, I got my fix, but I'm done caring if it's still smoldering. Let this be a reminder that it only takes an ember to ignite an inferno. So, raise a glass, my friends, to curing a romantic hangover by hitting the ass of a perfect stranger like it was hard liquor. <laughs> Doing pints of sweat taste with shots of cum till you both pass out numb. This is a love poem to the spike fuck. Sucking bare toes into thick blue soil. Blue like cold wind, causing warmth to recoil. Those warm, fuzzy feelings curled up in their cave, where no one could find them, where they couldn't be saved. You asked, how you feeling? And smiled real wide. And through a forced grin, I replied I was fine. Blue like my fingers, the soil in the sky. Blue like those feelings all bottled up inside. Blue just like me. Can't you see? Let me tell you about beverage lids. 
some people will tell you that they're made of plastic or metal, that they're usually round, and that they provide an airtight seal for the contents within a given container to be carried safely. These things are true. However, my lid designs don't end there, they merely begin there. I believe that the relationship between receptacle and cover goes far, far beyond simple ergonomics. It surpasses mere physics or fluid dynamics. The world's top coffee chain has employed me to provide them with a lid that is not only capable, but excellent. It has to be the pinnacle of hot or cold refreshment safety restraint. I take my job seriously. The history of the lid is a long and varied one. The clay pots of the Egyptians and the possible mystical significance of their thick lids having circumferences equal to the square root of the pyramid's hypotenuse, for instance. <laughs> Take the long-term screw-top two-piece rubber sealers of the canning era, the cloth and band permeable jam napkins of the so-called Preserve Rebellion, <laughs> the revolutionary depart plastic compartment candy container that still haunts us. I don't believe I even need to mention the historic effect of the Slurpee Dome or the Sippy Cup. <laughs> I pray to the single satisfaction, shorty and shout. were heaped up to a high, and she didn't release them with the mountain shaking. Maybe you should bleach his visine, because I have come down with masculinous bitteritis, <laughs> male pattern bitterness. Did I get it all? <laughs> Sentimental braggers. Okay. I was asked recently why it is that I have over the course of my life dated more women under the age of 25 than over. My response was twofold. One, I have spent more years under the age of 25 than over. <laughs> and two, most women I know above the age of 25 have come down with feminitis, bitteritis. <laughs> drugstore not five minutes away, but an eternity of thoughts on maternity and where we'd be if we could see clearly blue into the future. Could we nurture a child conceived on lies, lies, and why not? Could we learn blood up the hurt that came from the truth? I blurted about my worst mistakes and intentions and built a fence of retention between us so high only Jesus could see us together? Because he too was a mistaken surprise in Joseph's eyes. Hey Mary, you're looking kind of <laughs> we've never <laughs> <laughs> Shine clear blue for that carpenter. Now, now it was drugstore lights burning bright on the wrong and rights of what might have to be decided as we tried to find that little package of blue blue information, a little box that simply answers a question by turning yellow to blue for yes, yellow to yellow for no, and sometimes green. For and yes. it's such a bad day, and you know what? This music, you're gonna hate it. It's blaring so loud, and it's just so dark and emo. <laughs> talking about bluebirds sitting in the sky. So you glare at me because I turn it up louder so I don't have to listen to your prattling on about how much I suck because I'm sitting in this seat that you want at the back of the bus. I would like to have sex with, never had sex, like I said, virgins until we were 19. It's kind of embarrassing. I went on Sunday. He said he would be there. He never showed up. It was only later that day, it was about 11.13 in the evening, when I found out that he had killed himself. Many of you might remember the headline, a man drives off a bridge, kills himself in Fraser River. Can I still look at you adoringly? Okay. Good. <laughs> moment. Okay, Nick. It'll be on YouTube well, by the third place, uh, Seems Hall at 95.7. Yay! Yeah! And in second place, we have two One shorts. Two with 100 million yeah. And first place, Team Awesome! Yeah.